Recently, I had the pleasure to interview one of my favorite expat YouTubers based here in Bangkok, Thailand. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Gary Butler, the Roman cook. Gary, how long have you been in Thailand and when did you start doing YouTube? So I've been in Thailand for seven years now. I think it's a set. What's the date? Seven years and three days, I think. The 5th oh, wow. of December, I think I got here. Okay. Um, and I've been doing YouTube for probably... I've had a YouTube channel for about six years, mm -hmm. but I think I put my first video up and it wasn't very good. And then <laughs> I don't think I put another one up for six months. It was very sporadic yeah. until probably the last well, two years. That's how you know someone's a real YouTuber. The first video is never good. <laughs> Yeah. All right. And 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 you were telling me how you know you, your YouTube career really took off, like like most people uh, after the pandemic. You just kind of yeah boom. yeah. So um, I started taking it seriously about two years ago. Uh, so I was doing two videos a week, and I was getting in a little bit of traction. And you had my friend Jerome on. Yes. Uh, I did a couple of videos with him, built my audience a little bit, and then another YouTuber called Paddy Doyle gave yeah. me a shout out. Okay. And then that kick started it a bit more and then I did a few other things that and like it was like a perfect storm of one week and it just all exploded from there. Nice. Uh, okay. So let's talk about the roaming cook. Okay. Gary Butler, the roaming cook. Yeah, do you yeah. actually cook? Because I've only seen you eat. I do cook. There are about, I think there's like three videos on my YouTube channel where I am actually cooking. Only one with me in the video, but yeah. the other like hands down mm -hmm. one. So um, I actually had a, in 2015, I started a written food blog, like a recipe blog yeah. for Thai food. And I was like, all right, I've got to get over to Thailand, see if I'm cooking this right. And that's where the roaming cook bit came from. So I was doing the recipes for the website and then I was just like making videos sporadically to push people towards the website, which sounds counterproductive these days because it's the other way around yeah. now, right? Uh -huh. Pushing people towards your YouTube channel. But it was supposed to be go around eat and then recreate the dishes but then i ate so much that i just forgot to recreate so yeah. i just carried on eating so. and eating is a lot more fun than it cooking. is a lot more fun yeah, although yeah. i do love cooking cooking's my like uh, yeah. my release my passion but and how good is your spice level can you handle thai spicy food? Thai, 10 10 10 out of 10, 10 i think yeah. Ooh, what's the spiciest thing you've ever eaten the spiciest thing i've ever eaten yeah. is i think it was probably a jungle curry actually oh okay but in panga Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Pangar. southerners know how to yeah, do yeah. spice. But well. it was like yeah. on another level spice. It was like ridiculous. Like, and I wasn't expecting it because I went in there. It was a <laughs> tiny little shop in the middle yeah. of this. It's such a quiet town. Like I got a whole mock, the, the like steamed. The red, steamed red curry fish. fish. Yeah, right? yeah, red curry like fish. That, and obviously yeah. that's not spicy. And then I had yeah. like a couple of mouthfuls of this other thing. Oh my God, I was absolutely <laughs> like blown away. Yeah. Can you tell me some, maybe like some hidden gems, uh, maybe in Bangkok that. Uh, you, traditionally you wouldn't go there because you might look at it and be like, ah, I'm not up for it, but okay. they're like real gems. Yeah, so for me, and I, I, I think a lot of people think I don't like Sukhumvit, which isn't the case. Um, I just feel like on my side of the river and in the old town, that's where yeah. the real gems are. Um, okay. So I think my number one that I give people is called uh, Khao Geng Heiso Pa El. So Heiso, like, as you know, yeah, it's like yeah, Heiso. Yeah. Uh -huh. So the, when I read this, the first time I looked it up, because I just found it on a map, and I was like, oh, this, this can't be right. <laughs> this, this is going to be like an upmarket, like okay. posh yeah. curry rice store. Yeah. And then I got down, and it's like next to a canal, and it's just it's a ironic. Load, load yeah. of trays, right? <laughs> but the reason she's called high salt is because yeah. like she's got like lump meat crab there and prawns. The prawns are about that big, and right. the lump meat is about that big, and it's fresh. They pick it every day okay. from live crabs, uh -huh. right? That they get delivered from Champon. So unassuming, you would walk past <laughs> it. You might not even go down the alleyway, like okay. if you're not used to being in Thailand. Yeah. And that that is like my number one, like best value seafood, and for the price, just best value to price ratio you can get in Bangkok. All right, and you can find that one on my YouTube channel if you just search. All right, uh, crab. You came here, you started doing YouTube, and and in your own way, you found success on YouTube. You know, how's your journey been so far? It's been quite quite. Um, quite surreal for me because um i come from a construction background yeah. i never wanted to be in front of a camera i never yeah. um i never had any sort of desire to be i'm not famous but do you yeah. know what i mean like i never had any of that desire but so the, the way my life's completely changed and just being able to do stuff like this and coming to meet people that you know yeah. like i watch on on online and stuff yeah. and like respect and the yeah the people i've met that includes like other creators and also like people whose restaurants I go to and that I'm now really close with and like just uh, 
the connections I've made, basically. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Gary, what's one advice you'd give to someone who wants to come to Thailand? It's easy to survive here because mm. I think people are very kind and the country is yeah, yeah. very friendly. But to succeed in Thailand, what do you think is necessary? Patience. <laughs> I'd say the number one thing. Uh, patience, a good attitude, and I would just say perseverance. A lot of people, especially now, are coming here. And um, I like I speak to a lot of younger kids that message me and stuff, and I try and give advice where I can. A lot of people are coming here because they're seeing people being successful and making a career out of it, and then they might do three or four videos that don't go well, and then yeah. they, they, they'll never post up again. You know, yeah. It's all about consistency. I'd, I'd say come here and if it's possible i know it's not possible for everyone but try and save enough save up mm -hmm. enough money that you can sustain yourself for maybe a year while you try and build something and yeah. stay committed stay consistent that is the main thing because too many people just drop off or their numbers drop down a little bit yeah. and then they drop off and go back to home or they do something else i think persistence and do something you enjoy yeah for sure well gary where can the audience find you i mean y yes you're already very popular gary uh, the robin cook but uh Please let us know your YouTube channel and or any plugs you want uh, to make. You can find me at Gary Butler, the Roaming Cook, or just the Roaming Cook on YouTube, on Instagram. I'm the underscore Roaming underscore Cook, and I'm not on TikTok or Twitter, unfortunately. But all right, well, uh, Gary, I'd love to actually go and do a video with you outside as well. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I How spicy can you go? That's yeah, the question. I was about to say I might not be able to go yeah, as who, spicy as you, but boy, you should be able to eat. But I will spice. eat whatever you put yeah? in front of me. Yeah. All right, let's I'll, do it. All right, cool. Well, the Gary, Roman cook kills the tiger. <laughs> all right, let's do. It. <laughs> all right, uh, Gary. Thanks for coming in, <laughs> and I appreciate nice you taking you, the Thank time. Thank you so much. And, uh, thanks for having me. All right, Gary Butler, the Roman cook.